Good afternoon and welcome to the vlog. This is the first vlog from the Corsican. So it's all very much off the cuff. My name's Jeff. Gentleman on the camera is Steve. And we jointly own this beautiful circa 1980 38 foot aquafiber Broads Cruiser. And this series of vlogs is going to be called Cruising on the Corsican. As I said, this is the very first in this series of vlogs. We don't know how to render or edit, so we're trying to do this whole video in one take. So it may be a bit scratchy, but bear with us. The first thing that we're going to do in this vlog is people are always saying, how the hell do you cook on a boat? What can you cook? Well, let me tell you, the answer to that question is anything that you like. And today, I'm going to take a very simple curry. One of these ones here that you buy in a pack, and you get all the bits and pieces with it, the spices, the marinade, and then the sauce. But with 20 minutes extra work, I'm going to show you how to turn that into something really delicious. Now, the fat is spitting away at the moment, so I'm going to carry on. Firstly, in with that pack is these spices. In here, there's some bird's eye chilli, there's some black cardamom, some ordinary cardamom, some cinnamon, and some black peppercorns. And they come with the pack. You put that in the oil, because what you want to do is you want to start flavouring the oil. Okay? So that's what we'll do. We'll start getting some flavour into the oil. Now the reason we've chose to do this just sitting here is because the galley's very small. I'm rather a large proportion gentleman. And we wouldn't have the time to sort of do all this chopping up and everything in one video. So I've prepared everything. It took me approximately half an hour to prepare all this. It may take you slightly longer, but it took me half an hour to prepare all this and set it all out. Okay, that's cooking away lovely. The next thing I'm going to use in this is this mixture here, which is garlic, fresh garlic, fresh, fresh ginger and chilli. There's about five big cloves of garlic in there. You often hear them say use a thumb-sized piece of ginger, and that literally is a piece the size of your thumb and there's four chilies in there and they're all mashed up together they're not strong chilies and I'm not going to use all of this anyway so this is flavouring the oil nicely so the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to add some of this paste that I've made up now you might think, my god, he's adding a lot, but you add to your own taste. And I am making quite a lot here. I'm using five breasts of chicken, all this other stuff, because we're going to have this for tea tonight, and we're going to take some home with us. So I'm making a large pan, probably enough to feed around six to eight people. Six greedy people, eight people that aren't so greedy. So I'm using two large spoonfuls of this ginger, garlic and ginger and it, you know if you could smell, my god, you would, that would be wonderful. I'm going to use another little bit because I don't mind it a little bit hot. So we'll let that, um, we'll let that sizzle away. Steve, could you just pan in in this pan, just to let people just see what's happening there. This is what you want to try and achieve. You want to try and get it nicely sizzling like that. You do not want to burn the garlic, or it'll, it'll taste horrible. Okay, Steve, that's lovely. You can pan out. And the next thing I'm going to add is the chicken. This is all breast of chicken. So 
and this is so so quick to make really really delicious so as I said to you earlier this is a new vlog that uh, Steve and I have decided to uh, start up we uh, cruise the Norfolk Broads 12 months of the year we never take our boat out of the water only when it needs an anti-fill and some work done on it it's out for maybe a week or 10 days and it's back in again and we constantly cruise we're out summer and winter we've spent the last six Christmases on the river we've been out in the snow you know we absolutely love it so I'm just letting this colour nicely the thing about chicken breast chopped up is it cooks very 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 quickly in fact the thing you don't want to do is overcook it because it'll become dry and horrible and as I said earlier we're taking this in one hit so you'll actually see this curry being made start to finish it'll be ready to be eaten and you'll see how quick it is and how easy so once the chicken has gone white which I'll get Steve to show you when that uh, that's been achieved the next ingredient we'll be adding is the onions my god if you could smell that Steve what does that smell like? that's really beautiful it's just going to take a minute or two because there is quite a lot of chicken there you go, we'll wait start it now? yep Ok we just took a pause for a second there while the chicken cooked, it took approximately 3 minutes. I'm now going to add the onions, this is 2 large onions here, and when we add the onions, the next thing I'm going to add is the salt, and you'll want about a teaspoon of salt for this quantity. And about half a teaspoonful of ground black pepper and I'm going to let this cook down so I'm going to take another pause and I'll be back at you when the onions are done so people I'm back with you again sorry about this but we didn't realise we've only got a certain amount of time on our cab I've let the onions cook for about four minutes and I'm now going to add some red and some green peppers yeah yellow, I'm colour blind by the way and I'm going to add some lovely mushrooms. mushrooms and I'm going to cook them down for about another four minutes so I'm going to pause the video again let them cook down and I'll be right back with you, you okay people I'm back with you again now believe it or not this has only been cooking for approximately two and a half to three minutes I know when it first went in it was a heap over the pan but it only took it two and a half minutes to reduce right down the next thing is the base sauce, the sort of marinade so we'll put the marinade in that all gets mixed in and it gets cooked for about a further three minutes so again I'll just take a quick pause I'll mix all this in and I'll be right back at you there we go ok I'm back people, last process the marinade's been in there for approximately two minutes and this is the final sauce this is the korma, this is actually a korma sauce so we'll put that in and I'm going to put this in, I'm going to mix it all through and I'm going to turn the heat down and put the lid on and I'm going to cook it for a further five minutes and I'll be back with you to show you the end result see you in a bit back for the very last part of this video because we've only got a limited amount of time we didn't realize that but so this is the last part of the video this is what the curry looks like now after about four minutes cooking in this bowl here I've got some cauliflower that I cooked for about seven minutes and just water salt and lemon just to keep it white and I'm just going to add that to the curry And I'll be honest with you, the only reason that I'm using this cauliflower is because I made this curry before and I had some leftover cauliflower and I used it 
because I hate waste and stuff. And it went with the curry so beautifully that it's now part of the recipe. So really and truthfully, that is now done and dusted. That'll get turned off, the lid will go on it, and it'll be left for four or five hours just to sit and marinate. And tonight, we shall have that with some plain basmati rice. Must be basmati. And we'll have some naan breads. And that'll be a beautiful Saturday night tea on January the... What are we? January the 7th or something, or 8th, on the Norfolk Broads. So that's the end of this video. Oh, by the way, people, these are these curries again. This one's the Spice Taylor. But there are many different varieties that are available in all supermarkets. They're very nice if you make them the way they tell you. But if you just add that little bit of extra half an hour, 45 minutes, you don't have to get a, a far better result. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this first blog. There'll be, there'll be plenty more. I had lots more to say, but I've not got the time to say it. We'll be back at you with a lot more in the very near future. So if you've been watching, thanks very much. If you liked the video, put it down, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. Thanks very much for watching for me and Steve. And all the best.